Hi, today I'm going to read for you Wilbur Finds a Friend. Okay, it's in the Charlotte's Web, Charlotte's Web book. So this is Wilbur and this is Charlotte. And Wilbur really wants a friend. He's lonely. Okay, it's a I can read book level two. Okay, Wilbur Finds a Friend. Uh, nice barn. Nice barn. Some people say a barn is empty without a pig in it, but the Arables' barn was quite full. Okay, so quite full with pigs. They had just gotten a very special pig. His name was Wilbur. Looks like me. <laughs> okay. Wilbur was a sweet little pig. He was born on a clear spring day. He was the runt of the litter. That means that Wilbur was smaller than his brothers and sisters. Yeah, a little bit small. Fern Arable had saved Wilbur. Fern's father had said he was too small to survive, but Fern knew better. So Fern stopped, stopped her dad okay, and helped Wilbur. Fern's father did not want to take care of a runt. <clears throat> He would not let her keep Wilbur. Wilbur had to go live on her uncle's farm, but Fern could still visit. And now Wilbur, away from family and away from Fern. Okay? Wilbur was lonely in this new place without his friend. So, <clears throat> Wilbur decided it was time to make a new friend in the barn. But who? Lots of choices. Okay. There was Ike, the horse, who thought he was the boss of the barn, and Gussie and Golly, two geese who were always fussing at each other. Blah, 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 blah. There were Betsy and Bitsy, two cows who loved to gossip, and Samuel, the sheep, who always followed by all, who was always followed by all the other sheep on the farm. And then there was Templeton, the rat. But all he cared about was food. Don't think Templeton's a good friend. In a barn full of animals, Wilbur still felt alone. Until something special happened. <clears throat> it was nighttime. And Wilbur was too lonely to sleep. Good night, he called to the other animals, but there was just silence. Good night, Wilbur said again sadly. Then a, a voice answered from the darkness. Wilbur pricked up his ears. Who said that, he said. Me, said the voice. Wilbur wanted to keep talking, but the voice said it was time to sleep. They could talk more the next day. Wilbur was so excited, it took him a while to fall asleep. A friend, a friend, a friend. The next morning, Wilbur was eager to find his new friend. Wilbur called out, Wilbur called out, I will come down, the voice said. Then, suddenly, Wilbur saw her. A great big spider! The other animals in the barn moved away at the sight of her. They had always thought she was just an ugly spider, and they never wanted to be her friend. But she's nice. Salutations, the spider said to Wilbur. I am Charlotte. Salut. Sally, Wilbur mumbled. He did not understand such a big word. It means hello, Charlotte said kindly. Oh, hello, Wilbur said with a big smile. Oh. And with those few words, a friendship began. Uh, where the other animals saw just a spider, Wilbur saw kindness and beauty. He was happy to have a new friend. They were an unlikely pair.
Who would have thought that a pig and a spider would become friends? But Wilbur and Charlotte would become the best of friends. Charlotte worked hard, spinning her webs to show everyone how special Wilbur was. Wilbur saw that Charlotte was gentle and caring, and slowly, so did all of the other animals. And Charlotte, oh, let's find this. And Charlotte knew that Wilbur's kind heart truly made him some pig. Okay, so she put uh, a message, a message in her web, and everyone can look. Maybe this is going to help Wilbur. Okay, this is Charlotte's web. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.